gonna get out there and uh, see if we can get a cow elk, or maybe a deer. We'll see. Big guy just walked out here. A lot darker and bigger than the other ones. Body wise, anyways. Little buck here, he's been chasing the does all morning. Having a good time. Big back on him, a big neck. He's got blood in his back end there. Nice looking buck. Let's try and call him over and see what happens here. About 250, I haven't ranged him yet, but I think that's where he's at. Looks like he's got a little bit of blood on his neck, too. Wait to see what's been fighting with him, as we always say. Maybe he's the victor, maybe he's not.
<coughs> I hear that. two cameras at once. time in the stand there, not a huge amount, but just a little bit there. Everything cleared off and then uh, did hear some gunshots so in the area. I wonder if what they got, a deer or elk or whatever. We'll uh, do a little tour here, check things out on the way home, have some lunch and try and clean up that shop there this afternoon and then uh, check some cameras and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's it. Nothing too exciting. Maybe it gets exciting. We'll see. You never know when you're hunting. Well, we got some scraps there from one of the local butchers, a friend there. We had some pigs. I'm gonna go get the rest of them later here. Yeah, he just has the hides and the heads and guts in here. So dump this out. Uh, this is moose head bait where I got stuck on that moose head threw in a couple of deers and stuff like that here and uh, yeah she's cleaned up pretty good lots of hair kicking around but we're gonna dump these off and go check out a couple more spots all right took uh, three bins dropped them off here so we'll carry on to our next spot there and maybe we'll find some elk or some deer there, maybe some wolves in the field, who knows. But the next spot there, I'll spend a bit more time here this coming winter. If we get some snow, we'll head out and uh, do a little local line, catch some marten and stuff like that. And uh, get some 
water and do some under ice beaver and play around and show you guys some different stuff instead of the same old same old coyotes but we'll still target some coyotes play around a bit got to keep them in check too all right see you at the next set all right we're at our next spot here uh what i'm gonna do here is just check it out there's a bit of a slough bottom here and surrounded by trees i'm gonna bring in um some bait i'm gonna go get the sleigh so i can drag it in a little bit and then i'm gonna do all my bait inside this little slough bottom and then i got good trees all the way around here opens up a little bit over there but all around is pretty good i believe and i got some big woods over there and lots of big woods over there a little bit of a hill here so maybe we'll uh see how the thermals work and maybe pull them into this spot and then after we'll get it going a little bit we'll hang our snares and get things rolling so back at the shop there skinned this wolf the other day and i forgot to take the carcass out so yep yeah, perfect made a little bit of a mess So I went and grabbed a sleigh there. That's what it's going to look like on the inside. So I'm going to put it about here in the middle. But you can see all around decent sized trees. Got a creek system this way where they, I know they like to run. The wind's going to be bad most of the time, but they should catch it once they get out to the other parts. I just found another spot there too, which, uh, looks promising i gotta spend a bit of time to figure it out but uh that's what we got so i'll drag the guts in here poor deer are using this spot here just to cross through and bed up here so maybe the wolves will get a free snack of deer or something like that if i bring them in but i know the wolves frequent through here a couple times a year so we'll see how things shake out so Drug this out. Some pig hides and guts and stuff like that. Got my orange sleigh. Stole from Blake. He used to want to go sliding. I said, no way, and I stole the sleigh. So, poor kid. Tubs fit in there good two at a time. Drag them anywhere. Nice and quiet out here. Anyways, I'm going to dump these out, head down the road, see if we can see some big game to get there. All right, catch you in a bit. Just driving there and uh, thinking I'm sure glad I bought a snowmobile this past uh, spring there. Should have been here in the winter, in October, but it showed up in March those that you follow and see that uh, saved up for quite a while and there's the bait and should I take it yes or no and then uh, finally decided yeah I'll take it but with that now there's no snow and uh, end of November pretty much and I can drive just about anywhere I don't need a plow things can change in a hurry but uh, guys that are out able to get around without a skidoo Thank me for that because uh, I bought one there and that's the reason why we don't have any snow. Probably not, but it makes me feel better. All right, catch you in a bit. November 27th, we're gonna go out there and uh, try and get an elk again. Sat there yesterday morning, well you've seen that a little bit, and then checked some things out, got a few baits topped up yesterday. Uh, today, I know minus four, snowed a little bit through the night, windy, so we'll see if we can sneak in and uh, sit in, the, in a spot. Hopefully the elk or whatever hold up a little bit before leaving the field there, just because it's a little bit cooler with the wind, and uh, hopefully they're not too skittish. So we'll see, and then uh, once we get back, we're going to 
try and go through the shop there and clean it up. I've been trying to get at this here for weeks, but no motivation. I've got something coming up next weekend and uh, gonna have to get uh, some stuff organized for that. So that's the project. I won't do an evening hunt. The uh, fire department's got some light up the tree uh, commitments there. So we'll go do that. Maybe hand out some hot chocolate, keep some kids warm and families light up the town's Christmas tree and go from there. And hopefully we get some of this place cleaned up today, some stuff sorted anyways. But uh, keep saying that and keep putting it off because it sucks. <laughs> but as you can see, I can still always work around it a little bit, but if we get an elk, things will have to change in here. Plus I'm gonna have to Start getting ready for trapping season and get a little bit more serious for it here. All right. Well, we're in here well over an, about an hour before legal light. Wind's blowing, a um, little bit of snow. Not the most ideal uh, situation for sitting in this field, but you never know. Don't put in the time. You can't shoot nothing from the couch and if no lead flies, nothing dies. So. All right, so we'll hang out here for a bit. I'm just gonna watch some YouTube. In the meantime, to kill a bit of time, and maybe clean the truck up, sort it out a little bit. I had to cover up all the lights in here, um, just so they don't glow, and then we'll go from there. All right, we'll uh, hopefully see you in a little bit with something on the ground. If not, like I said, I'll just pack her up for the day, give it a day, and. Given an hour after legal light, maybe a bit more, see if the stuff's moving, and then go from there. Okay, catch ya. So it's been legal light for about uh, 10 minutes now. There was some deer, and uh, they all left the field. And uh, spiker buck and a couple does and a, a fawn. Um, wind's picked up a little bit again, well, it comes in gusts. Of the weather channel so you can up to 60 kilometer gusts 40 kilometer gusts then uh, some snow came in and uh couldn't see very far i just heard a gunshot in the distance there couldn't see very far and uh yeah with that uh, with that oh another gunshot that's they're far off in the distance it's last weekend in November, so our deer season ends November 30th, so a lot of stuff's going to die here. Same with the bull elk. The only thing that'll be open after will be uh, cow elk. A couple more seasons after that. But uh, probably going to take tomorrow off. Go and see what we can get. Maybe we'll get lucky. Just uh, scan here because the elk can come out any time. And uh, yeah, so I still have time for my elk tag. Uh, Blake's bull tag will be done at the end of the month here, but he's not too worried. He got himself a nice deer he's happy about. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna keep sitting here for a bit. Another big wind gust here. And uh, we'll catch you guys. Little spiker. Walking along the edge of the field there for a while and then jumped a bush and jumped out right beside me here. Not a care in the world. Looking for a girly. There's a couple more shots after those ones we just, uh, I told you about. But, uh, so I don't know what's going on where, but oh, we got another deer coming out here. Bigger body, head down. Better check it out. The rut seems to be late this year. Just like the elk rut seems a little bit late. I don't know. Things are a little screwed up, but they're all going to breed eventually. There's a big wind gust. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's uh, getting a little bit more hairier out here. Give it some more time and we'll go only have a couple of snares out and we'll drive past those and check them out uh freshened up the bait there 
and we'll get going soon I see other watch another youtubers there they're going already i'm just trying to keep myself under control and uh gonna go after the the coyotes and wolves here once uh we roll into december and uh yeah you always have to keep your customers in mind um uh, when you're doing your fur if you go too early guys don't want to buy it and then you us trappers complain about fur prices but you need to get out there when they're prime and not always when it's most convenient all right we'll keep uh keep checking things out well just uh right when i wrapped up that last little video a couple more deer came out in the field and uh Looks like a couple bucks and a doe. So we'll get out and grab the tacticam and see what we can see. The wind's really picking up. And it's kind of in our favor. So hopefully it's a nice buck for you guys to see. Looking through the binoculars, it's not uh, not what I'm after. But you never know. Just behind those guys could be the big guy. There's one of the bucks. There's a doe. And the other buck is trailing a bit here. Where are you? There he is. I remember when I'm videoing slow down with the, the padding there, it makes everybody seasick. Zoom out here. Makes it a lot clearer, I see, from yesterday. He's like, hey lady, you want to come over? He's literally like 75 yards from me right now. Let's see if he notices me. Should have brought my phone there. Could have took a selfie with him. He's looking at me right now. Oh, I just moved my foot. He's 30 yards. They can't even smell me. There. Matt. Mm, there you go. A little bit of excitement there. But uh, wind's picking up, blowing harder. It's starting to get things a little bit skittish. The little buck just jumped the fence or left the field here. And uh, yeah, we'll hang out for a bit more. And maybe we'll see something interesting. But they're starting to move. I'm not sure what they did through the night there, but the bucks are out checking. There you go, from no snow to 
blizzard's supposed to get close to a foot here. We'll see what happens. All right, so we've seen this here. I added, uh, you know, the guy added these foot switches to go up and down. Thought we could run the power off this cord here, but it doesn't work. So I need an external power source. But in the off season, I want to be able to take these off and then string string that up. So what I got is some plugins, male and female. So I'll put them on here so I can take this off when I want and then get it out of the way. I'll do that here in the next little bit. Work it on the shop. Got things kind of scooted over there so I can kind of move things around a little bit and get my cardboard and plastics down. Still lots more to do. All right, I don't think it turned out too bad. They're offset so they don't bunch up. Probably put some tape around here just to hold that so there's no stress on it. But made it uh, like that and like that. So there's no way for me to get them mixed up on the wiring. If I had them both the same, then it could be an issue. I didn't realize this one has power. It's all, it was all unplugged at the time, but there's capacitors here. And when I cut the wire there, she sparked pretty good. And there's, uh, anytime you do a project, you gotta put a Band-Aid on. So it's cutting the wire there and nicked myself. Bled like a little stuck pig, didn't cry though. And uh, yeah, finish her off and we'll keep working at this shop here. Got that poly underneath, this nice big hard tarp blade got from work. They're gonna toss it out so it fits here perfect. Just had to trim it up, I'll clean it up a bit more. Once I get her all put away, see what else we got to go on here. Okay, so it's the next day now. We went and uh, did the fire department thing yesterday. It was windy and crazy. And uh, all through the night the wind blew and a little bit more snow came. And uh, it's kind of laying there this morning. Do I go out and go for a hunt? Um, it's going to be my last chance here for the deer season. I'll have a bit more time. But uh, we'll see what happens. Super windy from the north. Some snow got into my spot here. Kind of settled in. Thought I'd give a little update here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna kill the lights and just sit and chill and see what the new day brings here.